Hello and welcome to the RetroBreeze updated guide for installing Onion OS on your MiU Mini. This video will help you to update while preserving the important content on the SD card you had before the upgrade, such as games, saves, images, and other data. This guide assumes that you're going from factory status right out of the box. Before I go on, I'd love it if you left a like and subscribe to my channel. As a small-time YouTuber, it really helps. I love interacting with the community too, so I'd love to hear what you're playing on your MiU Mini in the comments below, so drop me a comment too. Now, on to the guide. The first thing you want to do is back up the important stuff on your original SD card. Remove the SD card from the Mini and insert it into your computer. Create a folder somewhere called Backup, then drag the following from your SD card. The ROMs folder, which contains your games. The Images folder, which contains images like box art. The System folder, which contains the BIOS system files needed for your games. For this, you need to open the RetroArch folder, then open the .RetroArch folder inside that. This is a hidden folder, so if you're on Windows, click View, then check Hidden Items to reveal it. Copy the system folder to your backup folder. If you've played any games on your Miu Mini and you have save files, also copy the Saves and States folders from the .retroarch folder. Now something I have to mention about SD cards. You may not want to hear it, but you must purchase a reliable name brand SD card for use in your Miu Mini and replace the included card. This really isn't an optional step. The generic SD card included is slow, buggy, and will completely fail in a short amount of time, with usually within 2-4 to four weeks. In addition, bigger games like PS1 will load slower, have more slowdown, and be more prone to crashing. In fact, I actually couldn't use the included SD to install Onion OS at all, it just kept crashing while it was trying to update. If you do choose to continue using the included card, it will fail and you will lose your game's save data, settings, and anything else on it eventually. This isn't a warning, it's just a fact. You can pick up a 32 gig card for under 10 which is what I recommend for the Mini. If you really want to stick with the original card, you can go ahead and skip to the official firmware update section in the timestamps, but, you know, do so at your own peril. Alright, now we'll need to format your new card to the FAT32 file system. If you have a 32 gigabyte card or less, you're in luck because it's really easy. Just insert it into your PC, right click it, and click Format. Now open the file system drop down and click FAT32. Then click Format. Note this will delete anything you may have on the SD card already, so just be aware of that. If your SD card is bigger than 32GB, you won't be able to use the Windows Format tool to change it to FAT32, but it's still pretty easy to do using a software called FAT32 Format. I've left a link to it in the description box below. Browse to the website, then click the image to download the tool. Open the .exe file, then make sure that your SD card is selected in the Drive dropdown. Check Quick Format, then click Start. Click OK to confirm you'd like to continue, and that's it, after a few seconds, your SD card will be formatted to FAT32 and will be ready to go. Now, you need to make sure that your Miu Mini is on the latest version of the official firmware before you upgrade to Onion OS. Reinsert the SD card and power on your Miu Mini. Open the Settings app, scroll down to Device Info and find Version. Confirm that your version is at least 2022.04.19, which is the April update. The first eight characters here will indicate to you the version. If it's not on 2022.04.19, then keep watching for the upgrade steps. If it is, you can easily skip to the Installing Onion OS section using the timestamps. To update your Miu Mini to the newest version of the official firmware, first browse to the Chinese Miu Mini website. Follow what I'm clicking on screen here to find the download page for the latest version. Use the right-hand download button to get taken to Google Drive, where you can then download the file. Extract the archive to a folder, and then copy the miu283 underscore firmware.image file from the folder called the firmware0419. The last four digits there may be different if it's a newer update. Copy that file to the root of your SD card. Now copy the contents of TF card 1 onto the SD card as well. Finally, reinsert the SD card into the miu mini and then you'll want to plug it into a power outlet using a USB A to C cable. It will turn on automatically and will show a system upgrade screen. You want to leave it completely alone here while the update completes. Don't press any buttons or touch the cable. It will take a few minutes. Unfortunately, I wasn't actually able to get any footage of this because mine's already up to date. But eventually, the device will power off and go to the charging screen, which indicates that the update is complete. Now, don't turn on the mini yet. Instead, reinsert the SD card into your PC and delete the miu283 underscore firmware.image file. Now you can finally put the SD card back in your mini, power it on to boot into the stock firmware. And now we're ready to finally install Onion OS, which thankfully is super easy. Browse to the GitHub page, which I've linked in the description box below, and click download newest release here. 
scroll down the page until you see Assets. Click the latest release file, which should start with onion and end in .zip. Extract the SD card and then open the resulting folder. Inside you'll see a .temp underscore update folder. Simply drag this folder onto your MiU's SD card, reinsert the card into the mini and then power that sucker on. You'll see the onion installation screen. Once again this can take a while so just leave it be for a few minutes. When it's ready to go, press the A button to go through the welcome screens. I recommend actually reading these because there are some important stuff like hotkeys in here. You'll then be greeted by a device selection screen. You can change this later, so for now just choose the systems that you plan to use right away. Tap right on the D-pad and select your apps, and I recommend just turning all of them on. The Expert screen will let you select specific emulator cores. That's out of scope for this video though. If you know what you need here, you'll know. For everyone else, just press start to continue. Wait a moment for the bits and pieces to install, then you'll be greeted with a shutdown screen. Tap the A button, then just wait. Eventually the Mini will power off by itself, but it can take a few minutes. Alright, we've come a long way, and now it's time to copy our games, images, and other stuff back over to the SD card. Now be aware that some of these files go into different places now that we've updated. Insert the SD card into the computer, open your backup folder, then drag the ROMs folder back onto the root of the SD card. Next, open the images folder, and drag all of the contents of it into the ROMs folder on the SD card. Merge the folders when requested. Finally, grab the system folder and copy it back into .retroarch. On the root of the SD card, you'll find a folder named Saves. Open that, and then open the current profile folder. Copy the Saves and States folder you backed up into this folder. Finally, you can reinsert the SD card into your Miu Mini and power it on. On the home screen, tap the Function button, then tap Refresh ROMs, and you should now find all of your games as expected in the games list, complete with their box art. And that's it, congratulations! You've successfully updated your Miu Mini, installed Onion OS, and re-added all of your games and important data. A few interesting things to note here is that automatic save state saving and loading is enabled on Onion, meaning you can jump out of a game whenever you want and it'll save, then when you go back into the game it'll load exactly where you were. You can also mess around with different filters to change the look of your games, and you can even change the color values of the screen to get the picture exactly how you want it. One more tip, you can go into the app screen then scroll down to the Onion installer and run the app to add more emulator systems to the Mini. Onion really is a great software for the MiU Mini so a big shout out to all the developers who were involved. And that's it for this video! If you like this guide, please like, subscribe and ring that notification bell because I have more MiU Mini videos coming up, including how to get all that lovely box art and metadata for your own games library. Please be sure to leave a comment letting me know which games you're playing on your MiU Mini, and if you had any trouble with the guide, I'll do my best to help. Thank you very much for watching RetroBreeze, and I look forward to seeing you next time.